Valencia is an Italian car company that has produced legendary cars like the Delta, Stratos and many more. But nowadays the company sells only one car and only in Italy, the Epsilon. In this video we look at the downfall of Lancia and what happened to them. Why is Lancia not producing awesome cars anymore like back in the day? First we look at what Lancia was before the Epsilon. Lancia began its story in the year 1906, when the company was founded by Vincenzo Lancia and Claudio Fogolin, both Fiat racing drivers. This with the objective to create a car that was both light and inexpensive. After its founding, the first car was ready in 1907 and was called the Alfa. Not to confuse with Alfa Romeo, which was founded three years later. Its first small family car, the Augusta, came in 1933. Lancia is known for introducing cars with numerous innovations. For example, Lancia was the first car manufacturer to sell cars with a monocoque chassis, V6 engine, electrical light and starter motor as standard, and an engine equipped with both turbocharging and supercharging. Nowadays, a 5-speed manual transmission in a car is normal, and sometimes even a 6-speed. But in 1948, Lancia was the first manufacturer with the Series 3 Ardea to fit a 5-speed manual transmission in a production car. While Lancia was very innovative, they also were known to have expensive cars. For example, the Fulvia coming with a V4 engine carried the same price as a Jaguar E-Type. Lancia always drove to quality, which made production costs very high. Due to this in 1969, the company hit some hard times, with a loss of 20 million pounds. This led to a takeover bid in October 1969 by Fiat, which was accepted. Now Lancia was part of Fiat. Besides the funds, one big benefit from Fiat is Ferrari. Now Lancia had access to the Ferrari Dino 246 DT's engine and transmission. A setup that made its way into the legendary Stratos. With this setup, the Stratos won the Rally World Championship in 1974, 1975 and 1976. This was part of the reliability of the Stratos. Stratos could also have won more championships, but internal politics within the Fiat Group placed the responsibilities with the Fiat 131 operates. Stratos won finally its last race in the Rally World Championship in 1979 with the private Chardonnay team. Then you had in 1983 the beautiful 037, winning the Rally World Championship constructor title. This despite serious competition with the four-wheel drive Audi Quattro, becoming the last car to win the Rally World Championship with rear-wheel drive. But the most successful moment in the rally history of Lancia came four years later. This being the Lancia Delta. It won six successive titles for manufacturers in a row, between 1987 and 1992. At the end of 1993, Lancia withdrew fully from rallying, after an unsuccessful season. This ending the golden age in rally sports. Although with the big rally successes, car sales started to plummet from 1990 onwards. This starting the downfall of Lancia. For example, in 2002, Lancia returned to the executive car segment with the Thesis. This with both natural aspirated and turbocharged engines. But because of the stiff competition in the car segment from BMW, Mercedes and Audi, the car failed, withdrawing the car from the Lancia lineup in 2009. In 2011, Fiat bought Chrysler and then came up with the worst possible solution. They took the ugly Chrysler 300 and renamed it as the Lancia Tima. And even worse, they took the dreadful Chrysler 200 convertible and called it the Flavia. It was a case of batch engineering. Also, it was the wrong car in the wrong market. This resulted in disappointing sales 
with most people in Europe not being fooled by this badge degree. In 2014, Sergio Maguena, CEO of Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, announced that the Lancia brand would be withdrawn everywhere except Italy by 2017. Also he stated the following. We have to be honest, Lancia will never be what it once was. The only model that is of any value in Europe is the Ypsilon, which will be saved. The rest of the range has no appeal. That is true if you look at the car sales of Lancia. In 1990 they sold 300,000 cars, but in 2017 this number dropped to 60,000 cars. Lancia just isn't an innovative car company anymore like back in the day. Nowadays Lancia sells only one car, only in Italy, the Ypsilon. Although it looks nothing like Stratos or Delta, it is still one of Italy's best selling cars. Sadly, Lancia isn't a company anymore that we used to know. Still, there are many car enthusiasts that let the brand live. For example, the retro designed new Lancia Stratos, made by Manufattura Automobili Torino. Although that would cost you 650,000 euros. To end things off, once the Ypsilon reaches the end of its life cycle, it's unclear whether Lancia will continue in any form, which is just sad to know. We will see what the future of Lancia will become. Thank you for watching the first video on the Petrol Perfect channel. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also leave a comment if you have any car subjects that you would like to see next time.